Hey Eddie, it's Brian over at Showcase Agency. I uh, just want to first of all say thank you for filling out the quiz. I've got your results right here in front of me. Let's take a look at them and see what loan programs we've been able to match you up with and how we came up with those programs. So uh, first of all, you mentioned you're a first time home buyer. Some programs are available only for first time home buyers. Uh, so we'll take a look at those. Uh, you're not a uh, uh, former uh, military. You're looking at LA County and San Bernardino. So LA County, the loan limit there is 822,375. That's the uh, maximum amount you can get in LA County now uh, for a conforming loan or a uh, FHA loan. Now, when you go into San Bernardino County, those loan limits uh, drop. Uh, they drop to 548,250 for conforming and then they drop to 477,250 for FHA. So they're quite a bit lower in San Bernardino. It's just something we have to keep in mind um, if you're gonna uh, purchase a property out there, the limits are lower. Uh, is your gross annual income 68,800 or less? That's a no. Some programs, uh, that's a, around the median, median income level uh, for uh, the area. So if your income's there or less, there's other programs open to you. Uh, you don't have any uh, student loans and forbearance. You're looking for a single family home. That also affects the loan limit. Uh, the loan limits are more for two, three, four unit homes. Uh, you're looking for a primary residence. That affects how much down payment you have to bring in. Uh, and then you're not sure how long you'd keep the home. If you're not sure, we're gonna suggest a fixed rate. The fixed rate's gonna be the same rate for the life of the loan, so you don't get any surprises with your interest rate and your payments going up later due to a rate change. Um, how much are you thinking of spending? You're looking at $2,800. That's gonna end up being about $490,000 to $515,000 in purchase price, and I'll show you where we came up with that. Uh, you said you got around three to 5% of the purchase price. There's conforming programs that go at 3% and 5% down, and there's FHA programs at 3.5% down. So we've got some options there. Uh, you said your credit's excellent. Typically, if your credit's excellent, we're gonna go with a conforming loan. It's gonna have um, uh, just better terms. Uh, but if you need a higher debt to income ratio, which I'll show you here in just a second, uh, that's going to be an FHA loan and um, looks like that's the end of the quiz so let's go ahead and let me tell you first of all about the mortgage seesaw before we uh, jump into what's called a total cost analysis for your home loan options all right Eddie this is what we call the mortgage rate seesaw and what it simply means is uh, you have a range of interest rates on just about every program so um, with FHA, there's not just one rate. With conforming, uh, which are Fannie and Freddie loans, there's not just one rate. You have a range of rates. Now when the rate goes up, what happens, of course your payment goes up, but the amount of money that you have out of pocket goes uh, down because there's a credit typically from the lender. Um, now if your uh, rate is lower, of course your payment's gonna be lower, but then you're gonna have more money out of pocket. Okay, so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Let's look at your home loan report. All right, this is your home loan report, Eddie. So first of all, let me show you this. Over here in this corner, you can switch the view. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do here. And then let me make this a little bit uh, wider. Oh, let me switch the view again. All right, cool. So uh, what I did is I put together four options for you. Um, the first two options are conforming. And those are typically what we would go with if you have excellent credit, which you're saying you do, and 3.5% um, uh, or 3% or to 5% down payment. Now, uh, I also put some FHA options on here because sometimes we'll go FHA if we need to uh, have a higher debt to income uh, ratio. And I'll show you how much income you'll need to qualify for these here in just a second. So uh, this first option here, this is your uh, conforming loan. It's 5% down and it has a 2.5% interest rate. I'll show you some details. This one's also 5% down conventional and it's got a 2.875 rate. Uh, this one here is gonna be FHA with 3.5% down, a 1.99% rate. And then this one here is a 2.49% rate. So uh, let's take a look at these. Um, on this first option, you could go to a 515 purchase price. So, because you were saying you were looking for a, around a $2,800 payment. Uh, so that's about a 515 purchase price at a 2.5% rate. 
and you've got about forty-four thousand two hundred and sixty bucks that it's going to take out of your pocket. So that's your down payment plus your closing costs. Now, uh, if you click on this more info button, you're going to be able to get a breakdown of the closing cost. You can click on closing cost, and then you see here. Here's a breakdown, and then there's this fee detail. So this is the fees that you typically have on a uh, purchase. But it's also not just the fees, it's also what's called prepaids. You're gonna have some uh, things that you pay in advance, like a little bit of interest and possibly some taxes. You're also gonna pay your homeowner's insurance a year in advance. And then there's gonna be uh, some things called reserves. And your reserves, uh, like this one right here, here's a reserve. Um, and then here's your hazard insurance reserves. So on your reserves, this is money that's set aside. So when the taxes come due, they can be paid. So when the uh, insurance comes due, it can be paid. Uh, so you can see that on each one of these uh, loan options. That's called the fee detail. And then you can also see um, the points that are involved. So when I was talking before about the rate being lower, your, point, your fees go up. That's usually in points. Now, when the rate goes up, then the fees go down and that becomes a credit. So like uh, right here, you see this is a negative number and this is a negative number. So that's your credit on these loans. When you don't see the credit or the negative number, these are points that you're paying to buy the rate down. If that doesn't make sense, just text me. My number is 949-929-1834. You can just text me directly and let me know. Um, so uh, these are your closing costs. There's also a breakdown here of your payment, right? So here's your uh, monthly payment, your total monthly payment, 2714 Out of that, $159 is mortgage insurance. Uh, $85 is hazard insurance. That's also called homeowner's insurance or home insurance. And then this is your property tax, $536. That's going to be one of your biggest expenses with your property is your property tax. And it's paid... Um, twice a year, uh, not quite broken up, uh, divide, you know, split up uh, uh, six months apart, but uh, uh, typically two equal installments. And then some properties will have what's called mellow roost. Those are typically newer properties. And then some, and then you also are, are going to have a supplemental tax once you move in. So, but this just gives you an idea of where your your monthly payments are going to be. Now let's go back and, and look at uh, these other options. So the second option is also conforming. It's also 515. It's basically the exact same loan as the first one, except the uh, interest rate's 2.875. That's gonna increase your payment. Now we're up to 2811. So we're a little bit more than the 2800 you mentioned. Um, but the uh, cash to close went down about $10,000. That's a big difference. So a lot of times what I tell people to do is to weigh the uh, how important is it to you to have that extra ten thousand dollars you know if, if you've got more money saved up and that's not the last ten thousand that you've got in the bank you know maybe you're cool with taking ten grand and putting it towards the new loan and getting your payment down it's going to save you money over time but um, if you're tight on funds purchasing the house is probably a good idea to keep that ten thousand in the bank that way you've got you know, additional money in case of an emergency, rainy day, that kind of thing. Um, so the first two options are basically the same thing with a difference in the rate, which affects the payment and affects the cash to close. Now let's take a look at this third option. This is a FHA option. It's a 490 purchase price. Now why is it so much less? Because we're still trying to stay around that $2,800 payment. And with the FHA, it has mortgage insurance that's higher than the uh, conventional loan. So um, with the uh, FHA loan, your mortgage insurance is gonna be higher. It's gonna bring down your purchasing power uh, in some respects, but if you have uh, a high debt compared to your income, like uh, you know a couple of cars or you're carrying some balances on credit cards, then we might have to go with that FHA option. We won't know until we really see the income documents. But this just gives you an idea if you did have to go FHA, how that would work out. It's uh, 34,000 uh, with a 20, about a $2,700 payment. And then that's at a 490 uh, purchase price and a 1.99 uh, fixed rate interest rate. This uh, last option is also uh, FHA is also 490, but again, you know, we went up on the interest rate, and so what does that do? That brings the money down that you need to bring in. 
because you don't have to bring in just your down payment. There's also closing costs, the prepaids, and the uh, impound account that I was talking about earlier. So um, on this particular loan, the payment's at $28.22 a month, and your cash to close goes way, way, way down. So $20,600. Uh, you know, I mentioned FHA is an option if we need the uh, higher debt to income ratio. It can also be an option if we're looking for more of a credit from the lender because the uh, credits are larger on FHA loans. And that's why this uh, fourth option has your lowest amount of money out of pocket. Well, that and the fact that the purchase price is the lowest. So we got two options at 490 and we got two options at 515. And um, uh, like I was saying, you can click here and see the closing costs and the payment breakdown. There's also a chart on here, uh, monthly payment difference. It's just a way to see the, uh, uh, visually to see the differences in the payments. And then this is a great chart. This is savings over 60 months. This is a chart that's gonna show you uh, which loan is the least expensive over the next five years, which loan is the most expensive over the next five years. And then this chart right here is very cool. This is your net worth in five years. So uh, uh, purchasing a home, purchasing real estate is a great way to build up your net worth very fast. And uh, because what happens is typically real estate appreciates. So if you think about it, you don't probably buy a whole lot of stuff that actually goes up in value. You know, you buy a car, it goes down in value. You buy a motorcycle, it goes down in value. You buy furniture, it goes down in value. But you buy real estate and it typically goes up in value over time. And so that value, uh, that uh, as it appreciates, and then as you pay your loan down, the difference in that becomes equity. And that equity is part of your net worth. So in this example, purchasing a home uh, like this could add anywhere from $172,000 to $195,000 to your net worth over five years. So I hope you found that part helpful. Um, let me uh, show you how much income it would take to qualify for these loans. All right, Eddie, so we're looking at uh, conforming loans first, and then I'll show you the FHA. Uh, we're looking at what's called debt to income ratios or DTI, and very simply, that's gonna be um, your uh, new housing expense plus your minimum payments on car leases, auto loans, stuff like that, and then that's divided by your uh, gross income before taxes and deductions. So if you had no debt whatsoever, you'd need an income around 67,200, if you had $500 in debt, you need an income around $79,200 to qualify for a loan like this. Um, if you had $1,000 a month in debt, you're gonna need about $91,200 in uh, uh, income. There's also options for you to have co-borrowers on the loan and that can help you if you don't have enough income to qualify. Uh, and then, like I mentioned before, we've got the FHA options where uh, they allow for a higher uh, debt to income ratio. Um, oh, I think I forgot to mention. On um, conforming, uh, your limit's 50%. So we gotta stay within that 50% range. On FHA, it has a 47% front, what it's called, and then a 57% back end. So that means that the housing expense, so just the mortgage payment, the property taxes, the insurance, and, th and then if you had any kind of mortgage insurance or a homeowners association, all of that stuff together divided by your income is gonna be your front ratio and it's gotta be 47% or less. The back end would be adding in like your uh, car payments, uh, any other kind of loans that have to be included doesn't include your utilities, anything like that. It's just stuff that reports on your credit report. That has to be under 57%. So let's look at this. If you're uh, zero debt, 71,496 to qualify. Um, if you've got $500 in debt, still 71,496 to qualify. If you had $1,000 in debt, um, you'd need to be at $80,004. So you can see that your debt can really affect how you qualify. Again, on FHA, you can have a non-occupying co-borrower, so you don't have to have somebody that lives with you to actually go on the loan. If you need something like that to help you, that's an option on FHA and conventional. And then now let's take a look at the county loan limits. I mentioned them earlier. I put a resource, uh, I put a link in the YouTube description of this video so you can click on this. Oh, I forgot to mention this too. There's also a link in the, that I sent you that goes straight to that home loan report that we were looking at earlier. So you can look at all of those options yourself anytime you want. Um, so back to the county limits. 
County loan limits, they're gonna vary based on the county. They're gonna vary based on the program. Is it conforming? Is it FHA? Is it VA? And then they're also gonna vary based on the number of units. Uh, two unit, three unit, four unit properties. Each time you go up a unit, then the loan limit goes up. And I, I put these links, if you wanna check that out, it's in the description. And then I don't know where you are in this process, but if you are ready to buy and you wanna take a tour, you can just uh, text us and let us know the property address and we're happy to get that tour scheduled for you. If you're ready to get uh, pre-approved, you can uh, get pre-approved with us if you like. There's no obligation to continue to work with us or no pressure, no, obli or no hassle, anything like that. But uh, uh, this is an easy way to get pre-approved and see how much you would actually qualify for. And if you're not ready to buy yet, uh, keep checking back to our website, showcaseagency.com. We're always adding more content. Uh, check our blog there, also check our social. If you do have questions and you want a quick answer and no hassle, no obligation, you can just text our office and one of our licensed experts will reply to your text. All right, hope you have an awesome day. Uh, once again, thank you, Eddie, so much for filling this out. I appreciate it. If you've got questions about it, uh, reach out, let me know. If you wanna uh, put a comment below the video, that'd be great, we'd appreciate it. And uh, again, have an awesome day. Take care.